back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Too many things going on. I can't track of them all from people dropping a bomb to people putting up walls i feel like life is on hall perception stuck in a vault i know that time can heal all but how much time till we fall it's awfully chilly outside when there's no shelter to hide when everything is a lie you'll find that out in some time but when the things on your mind are all considered a crime communication aside we'll all just fight till we die is this an argument or just the start of it either way i don't want to be a part of it can i just get some space i don't have the heart for this i can't be picking up the pieces fixing scars from this is this an argument or just the start of it i want to drive away so i can be so far from it i want to find a place where no one breaks their promises or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless take me back to a place where i felt at home take me back to a day when we weren't alone take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back Let's before go. we blew it all I know that things seem bad, but they could be much worse There's always someone else who has a greater curse A greater thirst, a hunger, pain, and mercy. Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first I wanna feel again, I need a couple friends I never really understood just how the story ends But I could feel it's tense, don't know the consequence The volatility of life, my only confidence Is this an argument, or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it can I just get some space? I don't have the I'm really not gonna know any other big big information right now. But you know Bayer. Oof. Oof.
You recovered, Dan. Yes, sir. Thank you. It won't happen again. Yes, it will. Or a Here, siphon. Drink this. Oh, oh, oh. Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh, uh, now, I, I gotta get out of here. much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh?
man. Good to see you back in one piece. Working hard there? I guess. You okay, boy? Just calm down. Yeah. Look up, ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? Take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. And you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> the very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fella. Lumbago, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you?
go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Stairs always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. You got a problem or something? This place gets wilder by the minute. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. and Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Hey. So, what do you need? Well, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. 
<laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, <laughs> I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Get your hands off me! You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I... Get your hands off her, <sighs> friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away right with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. I ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Everything's okay up there? It's after you.
Go on, lead the way. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Come on. Yeah. Please, please, somebody. Just born it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up, please. I can't hold on much longer. Okay. Hey there, partner. It's all good. Calm down. Come on.
You're going to town, I could use a ride. Why not? Appreciate it, mister. Stop here, this is good. Thanks. Be with you in just a moment. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. Ah, uh, hello. What do you need? Good on you. Get a fresh start. Bye. How do you do? do wrong to you Give me something want to buy a paper I just want to get a drink welcome sir you new patient gum Candies, tobacco, all the good stuff are on the shelves behind my counter. Tonics and medicines are on the table over there. Everything else, you should see the catalog. Now, let's have a look. Okay. This should help. Thank hey, you for your it. help. Apologies. Get on your way. Have a nice evening. Evening? Mister?
I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer. <laughs> I'll blow out your lamp! Yeah, I think like I could die.
beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try him. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> Understand me? Consider <laughs>
You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Take care, Arthur. I like that new hat. So, a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. Like we're back on track, more or less. Yep, money and food. Now everyone needs to keep it coming. For sure. So get out there, son. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Put in a good word, would you? Oh, Lord, please end it. <laughs> speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horse shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't 
worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at six point Kevin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. You taking us to Combe? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll lead. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throw knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Yep. Hey. Hey. I I if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Careful, Morgan. Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. What was that, huh? Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my farts. And now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Why don't you open your eyes? Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. 
Golem's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. Don't move. The old man loses it. I won't get another chance in ages. I'll be.
still here. Hey, he said Cones be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Como Drisco. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Drisco ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't <laughs> have saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
you need something? Why are you doing this? Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike just got a crazy side off. Wait for me! <laughs> so, you were saying... What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. Here we are. Hey, 
Mister. Hello. Hello. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You're getting none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullers. My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lady, lady, where are you? your mouth, mister. Stop slumping off on me! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <Found> you, Lenny! <laughs> Lenny!
friend to me, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again. You alive? Arthur! You alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What do we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Yeah. You pair degenerates. Oh. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. Now, I don't want to see either of you around here no more. Oh, Jesus. So, that was a quiet drink? The first one was pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. Slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the fake is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll go show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the fake is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll go show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love. But the fake is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll go show up. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell, I never got anyone's help, I had to do it all myself.